Hi, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's August 26, 2020. And today we are live on Facebook. Um, thanks to the Asian Community Development Council. My name is Petrania. I'll be moderating this conversation. As you know, we put this on almost every week is the education live stream series, which we focus on different topics on the services that the Asian Community Development Council offers to the community. If people are not familiar with ACDC, they're a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization based in Las Vegas. Vegas. Actually, they serve people throughout the state of Nevada to educate, empower, and connect the AAPI community um, in this state. So they do great things for the community, and they also partner with great people, and we have some of them with us today during this conversation. Um, we're focusing on um, the folks at Am Better for, from Silver Summit Health Plan. They're one of the insurance carriers under the Nevada Health Link. So a lot of people, of course, turn to them for information and healthcare options when it comes to, of course, in the uncertain times that we're living in. So we're gonna be talking with Angie Irizari. She is the Community Outreach Specialist with Am Better, And also Jeremy Gillespie is here with us today. He is the Direct to Consumer Sales Manager and also representing ACDC. We have Yim when we're going to be hearing from her in just a little bit and again this is a facebook live conversation we really encourage people to interact with us if you have any questions from for acdc or for am better from silver summit health plan definitely get on our comments and like and share this conversation especially if, for all of us watching right now if you're watching share this link on your social network pages, share it on your Facebook, let people know that this conversation is happening live right now so people can watch it and also be asking any questions. So um, before we get to the conversation, I, we do have a short video that Am Better has provided for us that should give us kind of a good introduction to our conversation today. So let's roll the video. Healthcare has never been more essential. If you're an AmBetter member, we're ensuring you'll get the care you need by covering COVID-19 testing and treatment at no cost, by making it easier to get care and medication from home, by being here for you. And if you're not our member but have lost access to health insurance, we want to help by providing affordable coverage to protect your family's health because health care is essential. And AmBetter believes it should be within reach, too. All right, so that's a, just a quick recap of, you know, of course, a topic that a lot of people are concerned about today, if not the number one topic around the world is COVID-19. So I'll be talking to Jeremy and Angie about that in just a little bit. But let's start a conversation here with Angie. So we're gonna kind of zoom in on you here, Angie, because you have a, a short presentation that you want to share with uh, our, the viewers who are watching right now, especially people who are not familiar with Am Better. Um, so yeah, share with us a little bit about what, um, what they need to know about what you guys do. Uh, yes, um, Tranya, thank you so much. And thank you for um, having us here today. Um, we really do appreciate it. Um, you know, it's so important to go ahead and um, have information available in regards to um, having access to health care within, within the communities that we're serving. Um, Nevada is a very diverse community, and, um, and we need to be responsible, making sure that we provide the resources available in regards to what is available what, uh, to access healthcare. And like the video that it was just mentioned, um, we, we, you know, this year 2020 has been very difficult for a lot of us. And um, it, it's just giving a little bit of information in regards to uh, Am Better from Silver Summit uh, or Marketplace uh, uh, product, which is, you know, we, um, ACDC and Silver Summit um, have a great partnership here with the community with insurance with different community events that we do. So uh, we have great services um, and partnerships when it comes to, um, to the services that we provide. All right, so you wanna share a little bit of your presentation with us, yeah? Yes, and have that, here we go. We'll it is like wonderful. There, there you we go. go. There you go. Go ahead. Yep. Yes. So, um, you know, the, the first thing that we want to uh, um, 
pass the information in regards to and better from Silver Summit Health Plan. Silver Summit Health Plan um, is one of the managed care organizations that we were established in the state of Nevada in 2017. Um, Silver Summit is a wholly owned subsidiary of Sentient Corporation. And, and we are very diversified in regards to the services that we provide. We service all uh, 50 states. We have a great amount of, of members when it comes to government funded health plans like Medicaid, like the marketplace, uh, like in better uh, from Silver Summit Health Plan. The Silver Summit Health Plan was established in, uh, in 2018. And that is when we saw the need that we needed to service uh, the state of Nevada. First, we were gonna do um, uh, three or four counties. And then we saw the need uh, throughout the state of Nevada that we needed to bring the services. So we pretty much service the whole state of Nevada. And our principle or goal is pretty much to achieve, um, it is for our members to have the highest uh, uh, possible level of wellness care, being able to function quality of life and, uh, and just making sure that we stay uh, in touch in regards to the medical needs and the clinical results that um, our members need to, um, need to obtain. Uh, our main purpose at Silver Summit and also having the product of Ambetter, uh, it is transforming the health of our communities one person at a time. Everyone has different needs. Uh, so therefore, we, you know, we need to make sure that, uh, that we are very focused on the needs of the different communities that we have uh, in Nevada. Uh, when, when it comes to our mission, better health outcomes at lower cost, this means that we need to be efficient. Um, we need to be efficient at making sure that everyone is, is following the, 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 uh, what the doctor prescribes pretty much. And also to be efficient with our case management, making sure that they are getting the resources that they need making sure that everyone is doing their um, their day-to-day -day exams, if you need to get immunizations, if you need to get your annual exams. Those preventative uh, uh, services are, are very important to maintain that lower cost, that way we tackle uh, healthcare services early and not when they're uh, advanced. Um, you know, we focus on individuals. We're, we're very active in the community, very active with ACDC. So thank you so much for having us. And we are here to treat the whole health. It's not just the medical, but we also give assistance in regards to making sure that we provide um, uh, a connection between the services that we provide with the services the community provides. So we make that connection within our uh, within the services and the staff that we all work with. Um, I, as I stated, we service the whole state of Nevada for Ambetter uh, from Silver Summit or uh, Marketplace product. And um, ACDC is a, a great partner with us in regards to making sure those services and that information is delivered to um, the residents in Nevada who are in need of this product. Uh, but we also have our Medicaid product, which is our Nevada Medicaid and Nevada Checkup which is we service in Clark County and Washa County. And that is something also um, ACDC is there to support us and us to support them at the same time. We have two offices. We have one in Vegas and we have another one in Reno. And that way we have a lot of uh, great connections that are local and we know the community that we're serving. Uh, and on the agenda today, there's gonna be some topics that we're gonna be covering. Um, some of the topics, topics that we're going to cover is my health pay rewards. Um, we'll go ahead and go through that. Uh, the convenient options that the uh, uh, Embedder provides to our members. In this time of COVID, telehealth has been a very important service that we have to provide. That way they can stay at home and you feel safe 24-7. Our nurse advice line, this is something that is constant throughout the year, uh, not just at COVID. If you have any questions, um, we need to have the providers that we, um, we need to make sure that we find the providers that we need. So we'll go through through that process also. Um, give you an, a little um, emphasize why it's so important that we have coverage. And more now um, that um, the, um, you know, jobs are being lost, income is being decreased. So we need to find make sure that we understand why it's so important to do that. Um, how to select your the best plan that fits your needs. Uh, we would love for you to join um, uh, Ambetter 
uh, from Silver Summit, but the first priority is the needs that, that uh, you need to select a plan that is going to be best meet the needs for yourself and your family. Uh, we're going to go through the special uh, enrollment periods, COBRA versus the marketplace and versus Medicaid. And also, um, we're going to go ahead and go through in regards to some points in regards to COVID testing and treatment in, in which we do cover and the cost is minimal to none. Um, and for that, you know, uh, to bring those um, that information more detailed with that information, we're going to go ahead and bring on um, Jeremy Gillespie, my partner, that um, he's going to go ahead and get all those details. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um I'm actually in Chicago. I guess it's it's not morning there either. I'm, I'm a little confused on the time zone. It's two o'clock here in Chicago. Uh, but Angie, thanks so much for the warm welcome. And um, you know, I've I've worked with Angie um, over the years for many years now. We've worked with navigators in Nevada. In addition, done a little bit of work with insurance brokers. But generally, really, have spent a lot of time talking to people from Nevada to um, let them know what their options are as far as marketplace health insurance plans. Obviously, we have a plan that we offer. It's it's Amber from Silver Summit Health. Um, and we're really excited about that. And um, we, we've been part of the Nevada health insurance uh, scene for a long time now. And um, you know, it's a big source of pride for us that we're statewide in Nevada because we're not statewide in every state that we offer products. So we're pretty proud of that. And um, you know, today I wanna share, um, I think probably the most valuable stuff that we can talk about today um, would be really related to kind of what's going on with COVID-19 and job loss. and. Uh, some of the options people are going to have uh, when they are faced with, you know, those really unpleasant uh, situations. Um, so I'm going to share my screen here, make sure everybody can see this. Um, there we go. Perfect. So, um, like I said, there's there's folks that are, um, you know, experiencing. I'm, I'm completely sick and tired of the word unprecedented, but like that, that is what it is for for folks. They're they're. Um, we're hearing from people all over the country who have been on group insurance for all of their adult working lives. They've never had to shop for a marketplace plan before or even consider a marketplace plan before. Um, you know, and I, and I just want to talk to you guys today really in the interest of like understanding options for people in the community. Obviously, we want folks to be our members, but whether they're our member or they go somewhere else, like Angie said, we want to make sure they're getting a plan that meets their needs. Um, and then hopefully they'll become our member at some point. But, you know, as long as they're getting the care they need, getting the connections they need um, during these kind of strange times will consider it a success. So um, I think where you need to start, where I'd like to start then is basically talking about what a marketplace plan is, because there's a lot of confusion um, around ACA, Affordable Care Act. Uh, you'll hear it called Obamacare. You'll hear it called the marketplace in Nevada. Nevada has a state-based exchange. So um, there's a lot of different things you'll hear, but ultimately when we're talking about marketplace plans, we're talking about the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. Um, but it's really important because of how much political noise and confusion there is around it to really just understand what a marketplace plan is. And that's that's a comprehensive major medical plan. That means it covers ambulatory services, emergency services, hospitalization, pregnancy, maternity and newborn care, mental health and substance abuse disorder services, including behavioral health treatment, prescription drugs, rehabilitative and habilitative services and devices, lab services, preventative wellness services and, and chronic disease management, pediatric ser services, including oral and vision care, and the plans also must include birth control coverage and breastfeeding coverage. So, you know, we kind of get that out there because folks who are coming off a group plan, their employer sponsored plan for the first time, may not understand this. They may confuse what is a short term plan with um, a marketplace plan. It's a really important distinction because one of the real key things about a marketplace plan is that there's no exclusions for pre-existing conditions. So um, people that are experiencing a layoff like at work uh, are oftentimes faced with the choice uh, between a COBRA plan or like going on a marketplace plan. Uh, and, and before the Affordable Care Act uh, was a thing, um, that was really important. A COBRA plan was super important because if you had a really serious pre-existing condition and you lost your job and you lost your employer sponsored coverage, let's say you were between jobs for a while, um, it would be very hard to find coverage for, for uh, find a plan that would cover you if you had a really serious pre-existing condition and sometimes even less serious things. So like if you had um, your knee replaced or something like that 10 years ago, they would put what's called a rider 
on the policy where no problems with your right knee, your surgically repaired right knee would be covered in the future. So it's really complicated. It's a really big hassle. COBRA, uh, it's, it's for COBRA's continuation of benefits. I don't know the other letters in the acronym, but like it, it basically allowed people to continue that. Um, but now with marketplace plans being an option and a much more affordable option, um, it's not such a big deal anymore. So there's a lot of confusion around there. And it's just really important to understand that a marketplace plan is very comprehensive. It's, it's going to provide all of the access to care that someone may need. Um, you know, I think this illustrates a lot of what the cost uh, you're thinking about. 2017 was the latest year we had some numbers for some of this stuff. Um, but, you know, you'll see here uh, for a family of four, employer coverage tops $22,000 on average. So the employer part portion, the, the portion the employer is covering covering would be this 15,000 right here. And then there's the, uh, you know, the employee fa slash family contribution, which would come off of someone's check right there. And then there's the out of pocket expenses, like for like your deductibles and co-pays and stuff. So you can see how expensive that is, right? That's expensive. It's, uh, and so if you're getting a COBRA plan, you're actually paying for all of that you know, from the top. So it's really important to keep that in perspective. Um, I think I didn't have these numbers for Nevada, but I think they're pretty telling here. Um, their health, health insurance premiums in Texas, you have to use your imagination a little bit for Nevada, but I think it really tells a strong number or a strong tale, like I said. So if you look here, uh, this top green line is the average monthly premium for employer sponsored coverage. It's, you know, almost almost $550. And then uh, individual market plans here, uh, $434. And then the average premium for uh, a marketplace plan after tax credits are applied are, is $85. So that's a huge difference. Not everyone's going to qualify for tax credits. Um, you know, that's based on, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but it's based on family size and household income. But as you can see, the majority of folks are qualifying for them who are, who are shopping on the marketplace. And obviously, um, people who have lost employment and stuff like that are going to have an impact on their income and probably are going to qualify for a marketplace plan as a result. So just really important to keep that in mind. So I kind of touched on it earlier, but like this is a really important part of what separates a marketplace plan from um, a, a COBRA plan or even a, like a private insurance plan from that's not purchased on the on an exchange. Um, and it's that help. help health available to lower monthly premiums and then some customers are going to also qualify for additional help in the form of lowering their outer pocket costs like i said that's eligibility is based on household income and family size so it's we pretty much cannot talk price because of how much household income and, and family size are factored in it's such an individual thing but we did want to give you uh just the ranges of numbers for like families and individuals uh so these, we think about these numbers as annual household income. If, if an individual makes between um, $12,760 all the way up to $51,000 change, um, they're going to qualify for some kind of assistance. Obviously, you can see here, um, you know, the eligibility for additional subsidies goes down as, as income goes up. So, you know, someone who's at the very high end there, let's say they make, you know, $49,000, they are going to see their plans are going to be less or going to be more expensive than someone who's at the very low end, like, you know, $13,000 annually. So it's, it is a sliding scale, but, you know, I think it's important just to understand that like, it's pretty wide range there. Um, and you got to just check it out for yourself. You got to get in there and connect with the navigator, connect with the broker, uh, do it yourself on the, on the website, you know, make that connection, check it out for yourself. Um, or, your, or, you know, whoever you're speaking to in the community, because it's really super important that people understand that there's help available here. Um, you know, and the next thing I want to talk about here is when you're thinking about marketplace plans, whether it's with us, with Ambetter, uh, or another company, they're, the plans are divided into metal tiers, and they're gold, silver, and bronze. Um, gold is is not too popular with marketplace plans in general, uh, but they traditionally have higher monthly premiums. They're going to have a lower deductible in, for customers who aren't getting cost-sharing reductions, but for most customers, the silver plan is, is going to be the right choice. Um, the other end of the spectrum is the bronze plan. So the bronze plan is um, going to have the lowest monthly premium. Like if you were shopping and the plans are sorted by price, the bronze plans are going to have the lowest price on a premium from a premium perspective, but they have very high deductibles and high out-of-pocket costs. So for some folks, that makes sense, right? They don't ever go to the doctor. 
Uh, and even though we want everyone to go to the doctor and have that relationship, you know, we're not naive and, and we understand that some folks, you know, don't don't see the doctor maybe as often as they should, but they still want some coverage and to make sure that they are covered and, and you know, for things that do arise. Uh, so that's where the bronze plan makes a lot of sense. You know, I think I encourage everyone I talk to to not just fixate on the monthly premium alone. Uh, obviously, that's a huge factor, right? You need to be able to ins afford your insurance. So not discounting that in any way. But, um, you know, we, we say look at a silver plan first. I mean, that's the best spot to start because the silver plans uh, provide access to advanced premium tax credits. So those advanced premium tax credits, again, are determined by household income and family size. And then um, so those will lower the cost of the monthly premium. And then there's additional cost sharing reductions that will lower out-of-pocket expenses for things like um, deductible, copay, max out-of-pocket, um, you know, in general, silver plans, not just with us, across the board, those are the most popular plans for marketplace shoppers. So, um, and this isn't like, um, like for us, this is not like, obviously the silver plan is a little bit more expensive than a bronze plan, but that's not why we encourage people to look at them. We encourage people to look at them because, and again, it's whether it's with us or another carrier, we want them to find insurance that they can use. We want them to have a relationship with their provider. We want them to take an active role in their health. And it's harder to do that if the deductible is high, right? So, um, you know, really, it's really important that when you're shopping, you at least look at the silver plans. Um, it's also really important to remember too, I, I, you know, I've talked about what you're going to qualify for and, you know, household income and family size. And when people are throwing that around, it can be already kind of daunting, right? You're like, I don't even know. I don't want to get into that. It sounds like I'm doing my taxes. The site does it all for you. You just put the information in and they're going to show you what you qualify for and they'll show you the plans that you would be eligible for. So that's an important distinction there. I, th I think it's very intimidating at least for me, I like, I almost want to black out when I think about it. I don't even want to think about putting that information and trying to make a, a calculation on that. So really it's, it just kind of comes down to your household income and your family size. The, the website will make the determination for you. Okay. So don't get too hung up on that. It's really about just getting out there and seeing what you might qualify for. Um, so this is, um, I kind of talked through some of this, but you know, there's a couple of things here I want to kind of hit on uh, when we're thinking about folks that are going to be, the newly uninsured or have lost employer sponsored coverage. Um, so um, if, if an enrollee has coverage available through a, a spouse's job, they're in most cases not eligible for premium tax credits and other savings on a marketplace. So if you're, you know, uh, uh, in a family and your husband or wife or, or spouse has um, uh, coverage available through their employer, uh, odds are they're going to have, you would have to then select uh, the spouse's plan, get on the spouse's plan. Uh, there are some cases, and this is where you'd want to talk to like a navigator or a broker. There are some cases where, um, you know, uh, the cost of your spouse's coverage would be too high and then you would qualify, but there's, there's some complexity to that. So that's where you'd want to reach out to someone and, and have a conversation. Um, also, you know, if an enrollee gets a new job with coverage available, they're not going to qualify for those tax credits and cost sharing reductions. So, um, and, you know, at that time, they're going to want to switch and cancel their marketplace plan. Uh, but if an enrollee gets a new job with no coverage options, they may still be eligible for premium tax credits uh, and other savings based on that. Um, so this is really important now because, you know, we've already had obviously big layoffs happen, right? But there's still more to come. There's still more um, economic upheaval and stuff like that. Um, so it's really important to um, understand that timing is important. So an individual can apply for marketplace coverage and select a plan up to 60 days before they lose coverage or 60 days after they lose coverage. You got 60 days before or after, or I guess 120 days total. I, I don't think most folks know that they're going to lose their job in advance. Um, but in general, you know, there, that is available if you, if you are in a situation where you know that's going to happen, but then 60 days after there's, there's a window there to enroll because marketplace plans have um, traditionally uh, that you can't sign up year round. There's open enrollment in the fall, which runs from November 1st to December 15th. To purchase a plan outside of open enrollment, you need what's called a qualifying event. Losing your employer sponsored coverage would be considered a qualifying event. Also like moving to a new county or, or something like that would also be a, a qualifying event or the birth of a child uh, would also be a qualifying event. But, um, you know, for this specific kind of conversation that we're having here, um, that's a really important distinction there, uh, that there's 60 days after they uh, someone loses their coverage to, to sign up for marketplace. 
Um, an individual's coverage will start the first of the month after they select a plan if they've already lost coverage. So, uh, you know, that's just the, you know, if you're trying to keep your, make sure your coverage stays consistent, you need care, you need access, that's just an important thing to consider. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is basically saying the same thing I said. Just make sure there's no gap in coverage. You can, you can connect with the marketplace early to, uh, to ensure for that. Um, so then if you remember, I think we all remember, uh, you know, there was the CARES Act where there were payments up to uh, $1,200 per taxpayer and $500 for each qualifying child. Uh, earlier in the year, economic stimulus, you'll hear it called. Um, customers don't have to report that. That's not considered part of their modified adjusted gross income. So they won't have to report that uh, as income when if, if they are applying for a plan. And then furloughed employees whose qualifying health coverage becomes unaffordable or who lose qualifying health coverage as a result will qualify for a special enrollment period. So, um, basically just reinforcing what I said. If, if someone's losing their job, if they're furloughed and the insurance is no longer affordable, they can qualify for a marketplace plan. Um, also, if someone loses their job and they're offered COBRA from their employer, they don't have to take it. It doesn't qualify them from choosing uh, a marketplace plan or qualifying for tax credits. So. I've been talking to, um, I work with a lot of navigators who are folks that um, don't just work for us, they work for all the, they basically work for the exchanges and they work for um, uh, sometimes out of federally qualified health centers and, and a bunch of different folks. And we have, a, I think, a, somebody on the line who also who works as a navigator here. Um, but we, uh, they primarily just provide folks with uh, all the different plans that are available in the area and help them pick the plan that's right for, for best for the client. Um, and what we've been hearing is that folks have been electing to take COBRA uh, with their employer and then finding out they can't afford it. And so what happens is um, if they do choose COBRA and then they realize like, oh, geez, I cannot afford this, um, they still can enroll in a marketplace plan within 60 days of their loss of coverage. So that's an important distinction there. So maybe someone here on the line selected COBRA, uh, you know, thinking I'm only going to be unemployed for a month, you know, and then now has changed and they're in a, they're in a tough spot. Um, you can still look at a marketplace plan if you're within that 60 day, even if you selected Cobra. So that's really important. Um, don't forget that, you know, if you're talking to someone in the neighborhood in your community and they're, they're kind of at a loss there, that's really important to remember. Um, you know, we don't have this, I've used these slides a few states. There, so uh, let's get that, that. But remember what we want to kind of focus on. Whoops. Go back. Sorry. Um, uh, Nevada Health Link is, is where you want to go. If you have any questions, obviously we have navigators available too. There's a phone number there um, uh, that, that we have up also. But you know, I, I encourage everyone just begin the conversation. Begin, take a look, look around, find um, what's your what you're going to qualify for, and don't sweat it um, because it's it's it seems very complicated. It's very daunting. Um, I'm I'm a bit of of a procrastinator myself, so you know. There's a time frame that you can do this. If, you, if you've lost your job, um, take advantage of it. Show action. Definitely get involved. And then also, like I said, open enrollment's coming up. So um, there's a lot of folks who uh, maybe missed their window who are still going to have to look at a marketplace plan for the first time. That's coming up in November. So November 1st is when the marketplace opens up and, and everyone can enroll. It just goes till December 15th. It's 45 days. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a quick, it's like that. It's old, it feels like... Um, for those of us working in the industry, it feels like it's not enough time, but it is fast. So got to kind of be the, the more you're kind of prepared on the front end, we think the more success you'll have uh, kind of find a plan that's right for you. That's going to meet your needs and, and your family's needs. Um, so that kind of, you know, I think does it for COVID-19 and, and kind of what that means to folks. Um, you know, I'll pause here just to kind of say that we have our plans available um, in 18 states. We're hopefully going to be expanding into a couple more states this year as well. So, um, you know, we'll kind of have more to come on that because uh, I just can't talk about too much, you know, in advance. We have to wait for approvals on things. But, like, we are going to be expanding into a couple more states. But, you know, I would say, you know, if you are an AMBETTER member, uh, you can use our insurance in any state that we offer products. So. I did say we're available in every county in Nevada, um, but we're not available in every county in every state. So it's important that, like, let's say you're visiting uh, Chicago, um, where, where I'm at, um, and you stop off in Chicago. We offer plans here in Chicago and Cook County. 
Uh, but the best way to kind of make sure that you're seeing an in-network provider would be to just call member services and say, oh, I'm here in Miami or I'm in Austin or Dallas or, or, or Atlanta or something like that. And like, I need help finding a provider. They'll make sure you're seeing an in-network provider, um, uh, you know, and, and making that connection because uh, it can be confusing. You know, also we have um, telehealth now has been huge for us and, and our, our members, um, uh, you know, with uh, lockdowns and, and folks not being able to get out and not wanting to leave the house because of because everything has been going on. We have we have telehealth uh, and we have virtual health, which is telehealth is more of um, like, hey, I have a sore throat and a flu fever or something like that today. I need care right now. And then there's virtual health, which is more like ongoing. You're basically starting a new relationship with a primary care provider through virtual health. So those, those are options um, that are available on our plans that are um, really important, I think, for these times. Also, there's no copay for that stuff. So um, even on the bronze plan, um, so there's no copay if someone were to use the telehealth to talk to a provider about uh, you know their cold or their flu and um, to, to make that connection. Um, there is there is some wiggle room there. If someone is on our HSA bronze plan, there, there is a copay for those office visits. But for injured, for most of our plan, well, the vast vast majority of our members are going to get those benefits for no um, copay. Okay, um, great. Well, thank. Oh, Jeremy, that is such great information that you're putting out there for us. And I think one of the great things about you know, having groups that you're partnering with all over the country, including ACDC, is that you have local, right, health navigators who are on site, who are educated on what you guys offer and offer, you know, and, and the issues that people are dealing with. So I think it's a good time to bring in Yim Nguyen. She is one of the health navigators at the Asian Community Development Council. So Yim, thank you so much for joining us today. And, and just Kind of introduce us for people who are watching us on Facebook Live right now. What is AC? DC all about and uh, how do you guys work with different um, insurance carriers here in Nevada? Uh, hi everybody, my name is Yim Wing. I'm ACDC health plan uh, health navigator. Uh, my main my main duty is support for all Nevadan to get health insurance, and I will research and outreach the Nevadan who need the insurance and support them to enroll insurance and. During enrollment, I will explain all related with the benefit of insurance, uh, own definition, explain to them what you will have when you choose this plan. In that case, I will I will show own plan from own career, and it's very mm -hmm. important because if the client have the have the view for own plan and they make decision by themselves. Yeah, and I think what, what you guys do is so important to Yim is because you guys are multilingual, right? Like the agency yeah. has people who have speak different languages. How does that help the Asian American community, especially, you know, does language becomes an issue when they try to get information like this? Yes, it's very important because most of Vietnamese, like I can speak Vietnamese and most of Vietnamese so very concerned when we contact with, uh, because they have a limited with English. so when they want to know clearly about health insurance, they cannot uh, they cannot uh, understand everything by English. So I can translate to Vietnamese for them. And uh, during during enrollment, I will explain everything like I explain how, what is the physician, what is the co-insurance, what is the uh, deductible, what is the out pocket. And when they have clearly uh, information about health insurance, they can they can enroll and they can use the best for their insurance. Yeah, and I know you said you speak Vietnamese. There are people in the yeah. office I know who speak Tagalog, who speaks Chinese, who speak Thai. So if you're watching right now, you need help in different languages. Um, what do they need to know? They need to just call you guys at ACDC, right? And say that we need to make an appointment because right now it's appointment only at ACDC. Yeah. When they need the insurance, they will call me and they, they let me know that I really need the insurance, but I don't I don't know which one is a good for me. And when I enroll them in the system of Nevada Helpling, I will uh, when we go to the shop, the plan, I will sh show them all of the plan and they will choose and they will choose which one is the best for them. Yeah, and I know there are people listening right now and who maybe who speak Vietnamese and they don't really, you know. So do you want to maybe give a little introduction and tell them what we're talking about today and yes. where they can get more information? Um, 
Chào mọi người, tôi là Diễm Nguyễn. Hiện nay tôi đang làm uh, chuyên viên tư vấn về bảo hiểm sức khỏe cho ACDC. Uh, trong quá trình làm việc thì tôi có thể giúp đỡ các công dân Nevada để lấy cái bảo hiểm để enroll, để đăng ký cái bảo hiểm. Thì nếu các bạn cần bảo hiểm, các bạn có thể liên lạc với chúng tôi. Thì chúng tôi sẽ giúp các bạn uh, xem xét từng cái chương trình một. Sẽ cho các bạn biết cái điều nào, cái chương trình nào uh, nó có điểm mạnh như thế nào, điểm yếu như thế nào. Và chúng tôi sẽ giúp các bạn uh, chọn ra được cái chương trình nào phù hợp với các bạn nhất. À, nếu các bạn có nhu cầu hỗ trợ về bảo hiểm y tế có thể gọi cho tôi 702 2277 Cảm ơn. Awesome, great. So let's bring everybody on screen here just a second because we've talked to Jeremy, we talked to Angie, and of course, Yim with ACDC. Now we're starting to get some questions in on Facebook that I'm hoping you guys can help answer. So maybe we'll get to, um, and let's get to our first questions here. Maybe Angie will bring you back in. Uh, we do, ha we did have some questions about the technicality if people wanted to get more information about Am Better. Um, so one question we had on Facebook, it said the rates, um, talking about the, the rates, uh, talking about are the, will the plan Plans, the rates be changing? When will they find out if it is um, changing for next year? Yeah, uh, that information, you know, it's not um, going towards the end of October is when all the rates are going to be released. Mm -hmm. And uh, in ACDC and, and their navigators will have that information available. And also um, you can get in contact with us and we'll have that information available once we get closer to, um, to that end of October open enrollment period. And then also another question, I think, Angie, you can answer this, is they want to find out if their provider is under Ambetter. This is the information they can get right from your website or they can call your number, right? That is correct. They can get in contact with us. They can also go to our website, which is ambetter.silversummithealthplan.com. And um, on the homepage, there is a link there to find a provider. Make sure if you're looking for uh, for 2020, make sure that you select the link for 2020 and you can find doctors, hospitals, whichever type of provider you're looking for in Nevada. Okay. And then um, I don't maybe Jeremy can can talk about this or Angie, um, who would be better, because a lot of people, of course, right now, maybe they're losing their job, they need to go back to their family, or maybe go back to their home, and maybe they're traveling, you know, they're not at one place where they usually are. If they're traveling or in different places, um, can they have access to Am better then or does it matter? You know, what can you tell people, Jeremy, any information, um, especially a lot of people are concerned, maybe they've contracted COVID-19 or something like that. What's some good information you can share with people on that subject? Sure. So to the COVID-19, uh, treatment and, and, and testing are covered by the by the plan 100%. So uh, that's not a concern. So that's that's really important. Um, so uh, and then for travel, um, you know, you're covered in case of emergency. But um, like I said, so if you're in one of our, let's say you're, you're from Las Vegas and you're visiting Miami and where we offer product, you can see any in network provider there. But let's say you're in like Oklahoma or Idaho, where we don't offer plans. Um, outside of like an emergency situation, uh, you're going to want to use like the telehealth option. So that's mm -hmm. why telehealth is awesome. So it's for folks who are in rural areas or, mm -hmm. or outside of, you know, they're traveling. Uh, telehealth is a great option there. Um, you know, and it's and a 24 seven service as well, you, right? People you are call. correct. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, you know, I think that that's, um, we're, we don't have out of, and so out of country, you know, I think for this audience, that's, that's important too. I know we're gonna have a lot of folks who travel internationally. Um, again, it's only for emergencies. So you wouldn't want to kind of like have a sore throat and then the, it's not going to, you know, let's say you're visiting Thailand or something like that, you know, um, and you had a sore throat and you're, you know, it's not going to be covered. It's an emergency situation. There's going to be coverage, but, um, you know, outside of that, you really, uh, really want to kind of consider using the telehealth option when yeah. you are traveling and you're not in one of our other service areas. Yeah, that's good information. Um, Yim, I want to bring you it on here because Yim, you have some questions that I think you're probably getting from your clients that you want to ask some uh, people at Am, Am Better here. Yes, uh, I have I have one question for my client that uh, like they uh, they know that we have the provider list and is is used for Medicaid too or is different? Yes, yeah, so Am Better. Um, from Silver Summit, that is our marketplace. So whenever you see the Ambetter in front of the Silver Summit, that is the marketplace product. When you see the Silver Summit name alone, that is our Medicaid product. Each of those products have different networks, meaning different providers. 
So it's very important when either you're talking to a provider and you let them know that you have uh, uh, that you have a product that you give them the full name and better from Silver Summit or Silver Summit Health Plan, which is the Medicaid. That way you can confirm um, clearly if the doctor is covered by your network because a doctor that might just take Medicaid, probably there might be a possibility that they don't take um, and better. So we just need to be very clear how we say um, the, the plan that you have. It's like, uh, we want to be very specific so you don't get any misinformation. And you can always get in contact with, with us to ask us any questions. Okay, very good. And Yim, did you have another question you wanted to ask e either Jeremy or Angie? Yeah. Uh, do you have any support for language like Vietnamese uh, customer called you? Can you answer them by Vietnamese? Yes. So our phone is not going to answer or call center does not automatically answer. Uh, on Vietnamese, but there is the option. As soon as you call, um, it does um, ask you, you have to listen to the prompts. If you have um, other language than Spanish, then you can go ahead and um, select that prompt. If for some reason people don't understand because they speak Vietnamese or another language other than Spanish, then I advise just to wait and for somebody to answer and just say the language that you speak. If you speak Vietnamese, just say Vietnamese. And on the call center world, is very understandable that as soon as you say uh, the name of the of the language that you speak, then they'll get on the call with an interpreter and they'll bring them on the line so we, they can go forward with the with with the call with the conversation. Awesome. Okay. And then, um, Angie, since we have you on here, we just have a few minutes left. I know um, Yim gave us some Vietnamese. Do you want to talk to our Spanish viewers who are listening and maybe just give them some basic information they need to know if they want to reach you at Ambetter? Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, para, la, para, nuestro, para nuestra audiencia que de habla hispana, les quiero decir que uh, Silver Summit Health Plan and Ann Better from Silver Summit Health, Health Plan, estamos aquí para ayudarles. Para cualquier pregunta que tengan, se pueden comunicar con nosotros. Uh, al número, uh, nos pueden comunicar, a, se pueden comunicar con nosotros a silversummithealthplan.com uh, directamente o si tienen preguntas específicamente para Ann Better, este, se pueden comunicar con nosotros al uh, 866-263-8134. Y si tienen cualquier pregunta directamente para mí, se pueden comunicar con ACDC. El, ACDC es un, uh, es, es un gran apoyo para esta comunidad. Es uno de los partners de nosotros y queremos asegurarnos que a la comunidad que ellos sirven, este, que nosotros, lo, que nosotros uh, los apoyamos uh, uh, a, a sus necesidades. Awesome. Thank you so much. And Jeremy, I, I'll, I'll have you recap any last word uh, on your end. You can speak any language you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed to say I only know English. So uh, I wish I would have uh, <laughs> wish I'd have been a better student in high school. But, um, uh, you know, I, I would say, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I hope everyone's doing doing well and the best they can considering the circumstances. Um, you know, when I speak for the whole organization when, um, you know, if we can be a resource, if we can be a help to you during these um, troubling times, we can be a help in the community, reach out to us, let us know. We want to be a great partner for, for everyone working and, and doing the best they can under these, these really trying times. And obviously, if you need help with health insurance, either connect with a navigator or a broker, do some research yourself on the site, but um, don't just sit on the sidelines and let it pass you by. Get involved and and, and get the care that you need and, and get the connections you need. And, and awesome. appreciate the time today too. Great, well, thank you so much. And we appreciate your time, Jeremy, and also Angie, and also Yim with the ACDC. If you wanna get um, in touch with any of these people, we're gonna put a contact for Ann Better and also for ACDC on our comment, on our links, on our Facebook here. You keep watching and be sure to share this link. Even if you've caught us at the end of this conversation, it's up on our Facebook page for ACDC. And also if you guys at Ann Better, if you wanna share this with your network, this conversation, we would love that. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for joining us on this conversation today on better health coverage that we hope we can give to the people out there watching. So. Thanks again, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.